Self calls, head strike from blue to red, four points for Blue Fighter. Match blue, well fight. Thrust. There he oh, goes. There oh, goes. but he, he doesn't make it. it. Hustle. I didn't Point see was, anything there. I don't Point believe was anything cool. was done there. And nothing. Yeah, I think the judges agree with me. Oh, one point blue. Frankly, I think nothing was done there, but one point for blue is okay. Those over Gentleman's two. courtesy. To assure his opponent that he has nothing but respect for him. This is, this, Colta, I have great respect for this man. But also for Obrikski. Look at this, look at this. The tension, the tension. Oh, oh beautiful <laughs> cut to the head by Colta. <laughs> Uh, target areas and she deducted a point I think two points Parry strike oh sparks like up flying looked like a blow to the leg by Makarov and parried the after blow Makarov goes down low that's exchange oh half sword by Ramgi beautiful Got a big head thrust. by Makarov. All right, we'll see. Can we see it again? Half sword, half sword. sword. Couldn't quite Perry get control. Perry and bam. There it is. Oh, he gets three points to Mark Wilkie. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of the round. By Novichenko for two points. Strike low by Novichenko. Paris with one hand. Strikes oh. Dennis to the ribs with one hand. Spins yes. around and parries, and parries over the, the back of his blow. head. Wow. Two points for Novichenko. See, this is where a seasoned veteran like Dennis comes forward, right? When the right. deep, troubled waters, this is when they, they, they have the it. skill set and the tools to figure stuff out. Oh, oh. Man, we see one of these, these height changes, one of these level changes by Novichenko. Here he where comes he again goes, on the replay. Where he goes underneath. Boom! Straight on the girl. One point for Black for a cut to the arm. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Pima from here in Sweden. So the fencers salute, and they begin their fighting. So this should be interesting. Cheer 
used to seeing. You don't have the breaks in the action that we uh, that we normally see. And bear in mind that off on the side there are judges who are taking notes, just like what you would have in a boxing match. And then you'll find the results at the end. There's something I really appreciate about this uh, this type of fencing is that it doesn't cause disruptions in the in the bout. In like normal tournament bouts, you always have this stop, start, stop, start. Sure, it's and a little more naturalistic, yeah. and the fight unfolds presumably. There are some uh, interesting ideas going on here in Sweden about how we can make HEMA competition a little, a little different. And so this idea of continuous fencing is the idea of taking maybe something uh, more of a, of a boxing format, more like what you would see in an actual sword fight. It puts more pressure on judges, of course, because... Interesting to see the sparks flying. And uh, the loosening of the fingers to release the grip and allow a much more fluid and flowing style of fencing. And that you see these... Uh, weapons really spinning around quite quickly in these mullinies. You see that right there. And that's enabled by the, uh, the special grip and the loosening of the fingers. Well, there are a couple of things that are very characteristic of Polish fencing. One is this, uh, what he refers to as the high cover, which is essentially a high premium. Uh, Josie competed this year in the Sabre tournament, didn't make it all the way, uh, but very far, and he, this is how he fences as well. A lot of level changes, uh, ducking under the opponent, and of course this uh, advanced wrist movement that you see, which is, uh, makes it difficult for his opponents to predict what's coming.